tonight on Big Brother. If you could evict any housemate, who would it be? Sky. The battle lines are drawn. Because one, she's powerful, and two, she annoys me. I nominate David because I want him gone. It's Sky versus David, and it's on. I just can't sit there on a couch and bite my tongue at how selfish some people can be. Oh, so angry. Can David use his superpower to settle the score? All right, one point. Reveal Sky for me, please. In an old versus new, all in nominations. He's creating a pack mentality. It's an early morning for Richard and Lena, who have to be up for laundry duty. Oh, oh. So how, 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 how does this even work? So you've never ironed a shirt? No. Really? I just always hang my shirts up so they okay. never need iron. Let's start with a nice, easy white one. Start. We're getting the shirt. Go like that. So you always work from right to left. <laughs> For the past few weeks, the bedrooms have been segregated. The boys in the pink room... <laughs> oh, not ...girls in the green... Morning, babe. Why are you awake? And then you just kind of shuffle it along to get the other half of the back of the shirt. I can't believe you've never done this. I would have no reason to. I used to wear blouses and stuff, and like, I don't know, you wash it, and if you hang it while you, when it dries, it doesn't wrinkle. Yeah, that's true. While Lena learns to iron, Sky is letting off steam in the bedroom about her issues with Ryan. He goes, and, and, and how do you think it makes Dave feel when you say, when you tell him you want him to be evicted all the time. I'm like, um, how do you think Richard feels when you call him a vampire and when you call him Bill Billy Elliot and cut and pay him out in front of the group? Oh, I'm glad you said that. I didn't say that. OK. But that's what I thought of afterwards. Well, I'm, I'm going to come out of this Big Brother experience a winner. Now I've learned how to iron a shirt. Housemates. For the last few weeks, the sleeping arrangements have been divided into boys' bedroom and girls' bedroom. That is about to change. Ooh. Big Brother would like you to spend your final few weeks sharing a bedroom with the people you feel most comfortable with and whose company you enjoy the most. This sounds dangerous. Oh, that's so dangerous. Big Brother invites you now to decide who wants to sleep in which bedroom and with whom. Go ahead. All right, so is there anyone that's in the green room that wants to be in the pink room or anyone in the pink room that wants to be in the green room? I want to sleep next to Preya still. Preya, your original pink, would you yeah. want to come back into the pink in your normal bed? I don't bed? mind that, yeah. Do you want to go back in wherever Dave is? So you want to go green? Well, wherever Dave is. Well, let's be honest. It, it, let's be honest. Let, let's, not, let's not beat around the bush right here. It said people you're most comfortable with, so Sky and I are going to be in opposite rooms, OK? <laughs> Look, I'm easy whoever I'm with, so just plop me wherever. Yeah. Do you, any of you boys want, do you just want to move or not? No, I'm sweet. You good? I'm good. I like my bed. Sorted then, big brother. It's pink room boys, green room girls. Yay. <laughs> Just, um, hang on a sec, guys. Um, did you see Dave? What did he Brian do? tried to say to me last night, how do you think Dave feels when you make little jokes about him not being evicted yet? And I said, no, don't even start that because you don't know how he makes me feel. And then he makes a comment in front of everyone. Well, we know that Sky and I are being in a room together because we're not comfortable with each other. And it's like, well, what do you expect? 
So it's like Ryan's a hypocrite and Dave's a hypocrite. I'm happy for your minds to speak aloud because mine's doing nothing at the moment. She just, oh, just she's she's bu she bugs me. I'm sorry, she's really bugging me at the moment. Yeah. Because she just thinks about herself. It's, it's, All she thinks about is herself. I know you're friends with her, but do you see that she only thinks about herself? I don't look at them kind of things because it doesn't affect me. You know what I mean? Like, why do you let it get to you? Because it's just a selfish girl. I just, and that's not who I'm friends with ever in life. I'm not friends with selfish people. You know? I've seen both sides of it. I see the sweet girl that she is, and like she's got a great human side to her, and she is caring. But then as well, I've seen, I can see the side that Dave's talking about. But I just can't sit there on a couch and, and bite something. my tongue at how selfish some people can be. Oh, so angry. I've called um, Dave a hypocrite on his face. He and I had a huge argument here in the lounge. Everyone was here. And I said, Dave, you're the biggest hypocrite I've ever met. You should be the last person doing this to anyone in the house. I said, I've seen you bullying. Sky, I've seen you bullying Jason. It's got to stop. You've been in that situation. You know how yeah. it feels. You know, cut the crap. Dave's doing oh, it to I'm everyone. Sure. Travi, are you in this game? Are you, are, you a, are you a real person in this game? Yeah. OK, I'm being as real as I can be. If I had a 20-year-old sister say some of the things that she said to me, I would have, you know, told her to pull her head in. So for me, telling her and or wanting to tell her is yeah. me being real. <laughs> I just know I reckon they're in there, Sky's talking about how much she hates Dave in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the bravado amongst the boys to try and make the boys laugh at other people's expense. Yeah. That's what I still feel like the yep. situation. Yep. You know, I like Richard, mm. I really do, but I think he is trying. And I think both boys are. They're trying to suck up to Dave and Ryan oh, a little too much. Oh, really? <laughs> OK, really? so... I can't like, see that at all. With, with Richard, the way he works is that, like, he, he'll appreciate the chat that you have with him and know that he can go there, but okay. he internalises a lot of stuff because I'm he's nervous. very, like... He's very, like, I'm a solo person, I'm a yeah. solo player, like, he observes things, and if he gets... If he gets yeah. flack and yeah. it annoys him... <laughs> It's internalised, yeah. right? He's not going to go people and, like and that rely you've got to watch someone. out for because yeah. they're the ones that will just explode one day. Yeah, you but I mean? feel like, for example, we go, oh, hey, like, we notice that Richo is copying a lot of flack and so we'll take him, you know. And the boys, they say stuff about everyone. They have said stuff about every person. Yep. Every person. Yep. So it's just one of those things that we've got to be aware of. Absolutely. I'm surprised yes. you're not offended, but... Yes, Rich. But I'm not offended? Yeah, because they pay you out constantly. Yeah, it's like... I don't know, with guys it's slightly different. Like, for my best friends, like, I love them all. They're literally mm. like brothers to me. We reinforce our friendships through insults. Now, like, that sounds weird, but that's no, just I've how we are. I've that before. That's... Someone said that's, that And also. that's a legit... Like, we all know that we all love each other and, like, we would die for each other, like, me and my best mates, but... You know, mm. that's literally what we do. We give yeah, each other shit. But do you hold yeah. them as close to your mates outside the house? Um, no, not at all. But at the same point, like... It's a boys thing, isn't it? David is one of the most frequent users of the diary room, especially when he has something on his mind. Sky and I don't see eye to eye. It's just the way, the way it is. You're not going to get along with everyone in life. I'll just continue to try and be civil to her, but... However many days, we're nearly 60 days into this and I'm pretty much jack of her attitude, so... <laughs> the less time I have to spend in the same room as her, the better it is for me. Sky and Richard know David is in the diary room. They're surprised to discover they can actually make out some of what he's saying. She likes to keep bringing things up and rehashing and... Uh, I find she's got very selfish attitudes towards people in the house. She's not afraid to uh, tell people what she doesn't like about them, but when someone does the reverse back at her, she arcs up, she gets a back up, she goes off in a huff. And it's just not how I, I deal with situations on the outside. I'm happy to talk things through. Uh, and I guess it's just those little things that slowly build up and build up and there always comes a point where the straw breaks the camel's back, as they say. Thank you, housemates. You've been there long enough. That was interesting. That was interesting. He's talking about me. Yeah, definitely. What? 
course. You, you would go up there and talk about him, though. Must be naughty of us. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Coming up... <laughs> Penny and the Pet Python. Just like that. As she shows how not to handle a snake. Oh, man. What were you saying? I've been saying you've been different ever since I got back. Leo and Skye are still trying to work through their rough patch. You were completely right the other night. You were like, we're not married, we're not boyfriend, girlfriend. We've only known each other for a few weeks. If you don't want to be close or whatever, like I said. I do want to be close. I'm not going to chase you around this house. And you've been different since I got back, but that's you, not me, you know? But I don't think I've been that different. I've been gone for six days and I was up for eviction. It could have been my last night. And Travi went in the green room and he said that you can go sleep with Leo. And you just decided to stay in the green room. I just need you to understand that I'm not going to chase you. Like, you know, I'm not going to chase you around the house. I'm not going to paw at you like a little puppy. Like, if you don't want to spend time together, if you don't want to hang out, if you want things to be how they were, I'm perfectly OK with that. This group's just going to keep getting smaller and smaller. Just don't leave me. <laughs> All week, the housemates have been pretending to be experts at something they have no idea about. So now I like to use a bit of chocolate because everybody loves chocolate. Tom and Travis's demonstration on how to decorate a three-tiered cake has failed miserably. <laughs> so it's about having fun too, guys. <laughs> a bit of gel in that. Let's gel it back. Come on. Oh, no! It's now up to Richard and Penny to successfully complete the next how-to challenge. Oh. oh, I hate snakes. Amazing. I hate snakes. I really, really hate snakes. But they're fake. I know, but they're like... I hate them. This is Big Brother. Welcome to How to Be a Reptile Handler with Penny and Richard. Take it away, housemates. Hi, guys. G'day. G'day, everybody. How are you going? I'm Penny. I'm Richard. And we're here to show you how to handle reptiles. They do look scary. Penny here doesn't particularly like snakes, so Not what I'm going to do is specialty. I will run you through the snakes. With this specimen here, we have the, uh, the Eastern Brown. Now, as you can see, he's, he's quite placid at the moment. This variety is very common uh, in South Australia, where I'm from. Range from completely harmless. I'm going to bring in a real one. Now, I'm going to bring in a real one. Um, if you go near the hand, you're more likely to get bitten. Now, I'm well, go... Penny and Richard, the time has come for your practical demonstration. Okay. <gasps> Okay, so, so, um, as you can see, we've got a we've got a live specimen here. Housemates, Penny, inside the bag, is a black-headed python. Nah. Okay. Her name is Medusa. She's going to be very friendly. We've done. We're experts. Remember. <laughs> they look professional. We've got the team in the studio here today. Oh. They are about to place Medusa around Penny, your neck. Big brother! <laughs> so the important thing is to stay calm. Um, the snake, when it initially is placed on your shoulders, you will feel a bit of a gripping motion. That's just the snake getting comfortable with your body and uh, just learning, familiarising itself with the environment. Now, it's very common for the snake to do this. Uh, Medusa, as you can see, very friendly. Um, just having a bit of a sniff around there. No, oh my Penny. God. You can see you've come up on the, on the shoulder now. And <laughs> She's and hilarious. This one has a lifespan of about 25 years. So it's not just something you want to pick up for fun during the holidays. No. <laughs> He's quite a healthy size. So he's probably uh, on a, a mixed diet at the moment. Um, what else would you like to say about him, Penny? What do you think? They're quite cool. He As you can is see, 
I'm an expert, guys. I'm an expert, but I don't know this guy. And yeah, you just gotta just roll with it. Hey. <laughs> Um, oh, and he's just going back there. Just, and as you can see, Penny's staying nice and calm and not moving. And whether it's a, a domestic reptile like Medusa or one that you meet in the wild, the important thing is to stay absolutely still as, uh, as Penny is doing. And she's doing a great job. Just like that. He and likes... See, Penny just loves it. Oh, man. Get now him away. Going, yeah, no, he's, going to, he's just going to fall slightly off there. You can even give him a kiss. No. I think I'm ready for an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys had fun today. So, I sure did. If you encounter them, what do you do, Penny? What are the three things? Stay calm, walk away, call the hotline, 1800 will get the snakes away. 1800. <laughs> A lot of people have been in a small house for 60 days and it's time for another spring clean. We would always, you know, watch out for each other, have each other's back. Priya's reminiscing about how close she and former housemate Jason were. You're proposing a similar partnership, Priya? No, I'm telling you about it. It's too okay. early for to do that, Richard. Don't you reckon? It's far too... Well, it's too early and or too late, it? if that makes sense. Yeah? Ooh, are you telling me that you're in a partnership of its own already? But like, no, what? I just think there's three weeks to go. Like, it's yeah. inconsequential almost. Yeah. It's Johnny. It's like, no. What does that mean? That, do you want me to be that person who looks out for you? No. I can do that myself, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I find interesting is people keep trying to suss me out in terms of, oh, who, you know, which group do you fit in or where's your, who are you most comfortable with, what's your sort of spot? Um, and to be honest, and this is what I tell them, I don't really think... Um, I need to sort of put up my flag anywhere. I think um, I'm very happy just getting to know everyone and floating between, between the different groups. I think at the moment I'm probably being lumped in with the girls Trav and Leo, um, but you know I feel like I get on quite well with those three guys as well. So people can throw me in whatever basket they want. I'm not going to be pigeonholed. And, um, yeah, it's starting to get pretty exciting. Oh! oh my what did you do? Did you just fall? Are you all right? Oh! Are you OK? We need a sign on that. Next. I would be careful just even talking to him. Priya's blunt warning about one of the boys. I'm very careful what I, like, what tell him. David, welcome to How To Decommission Old Electrical Appliances with David. Sick. Take it away. Thank you. Welcome back to How to Decommission Old Electrical Appliances with David. No. I am your host, David. <laughs> uh, firstly, what we have here is a old DVD player. Now, the first thing you need in a situation like this are gloves, good quality gloves. These are nice yellow leather. Feel that? That's quality right there, <laughs> right there. The next thing you need, a good quality hammer. Oh, okay, look at awesome. this awesome. is where it comes down to. You've got your safety equipment, you've got your piece of rubbish sitting in front of you. What better way to do it than just to... Most important thing before you destroy a piece of rubbish like this is to check that there's nothing in it. 
Imagine if your wedding video was in this. That would be the end of it. This hammer would be coming straight on top from the missus. She'd be <laughs> into ya. So you just have a flick here. Hi Sky, we're loving watching you on TV. Everybody loves wow. you. We miss you so much. We miss you loudly. <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> and that is how you decommission a piece of rubbish. <laughs> oh my god. I would have had to have Sorry, Sky. <laughs> hey, your little sister, she can meet up with my little brother. <laughs> Thoughts? I'm gonna hide under the rocks. The treehouse has become the place where house news spreads. Priya is telling Lena about Richard's earlier offer to be her ally. I would be careful just even talking to him because he reads too much into everything. I do talk to him, but mm. I'm very careful what I like what tell him to yeah. because he is he because he floats between the groups. Yeah. Um, I don't know what he's like around the boys or whether he he's does doing exactly what Jason did in the beginning, and Jason oh. began to realize that it's a mistake because yeah. then no groups and no one will trust. Yeah. You? Do you see two groups in this house? Yes, I do. Okay, so yes. I'm not the only one that's no, just seeing no. this. Okay. Okay. You're not the only one. I see it as well. Yay, we're all thinkers. We My can, tree house. We can pick, e pick each other's brain. We're picking each other's brains. Right, fill me in. What have I missed? Ooh, you tell us. What do you reckon you have missed? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll pick your brain, Richard. What? You keep saying that. I know. I'm, I'm happy to tell you anything. I you know. just got to ask me questions. I know. I can't just, there's too much in here to just blurt out with no there sort of guidance. There is too much in there. Okay, I'm going to ask you a blunt question. Yeah. Who don't you like in this house? Who don't I like? Yeah. Probably Dave. Okay. Really? I think, I think... Is it because you think you two are quite alike? I think with Dave and I, I was kind of had the realisation, and I get on fine with him, it's just like if I had to pick someone that I probably dislike the yep. most, it's he's the person I like the least. What are your thoughts? Who do you dislike? No, my question You're not time. getting off that easy. No, my question <laughs> time. Who do you most dislike? Um, I'm not drawn to hang out with Ryan. Yeah, no, I, I knew that. I think That's it's fine. pretty obvious. Mm. Yeah, I think there's something about me. I'm not sure what it is. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge. Well, then... It's time to hear whether the house has passed this week's task. Housemates. The how-to task is now over. Oh. All that's left is to find out whether it's a big thumbs up or a big thumbs down. Massive. Ooh. Housemates, this week you attempted 12 how-to challenges. You received eight thumbs up and four thumbs down. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, same, David. Guys. Yeah, big brother. In the lounge hatch is the number of thumbs down. <coughs> Housemates were permitted this week. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I've been a hard <coughs> Oh my god, this is <coughs> massive. <coughs> Mates, you have <laughs> failed this week's task. Oh, yeah. Big Brother will deliver your staples to the kitchen pantry. Yeah, I've had a weird day. I'm going to talk about something, and I don't know why, like, this doesn't get spoken about really ever. And I want people to hear this. Like, don't be like, don't be like oh, no, we shouldn't do that. But my ovaries are on fire today. Like, nobody talks about period pain. I just have to say, right, for a quarter of the year, a woman will have her period. A quarter of the year. Now, this is a fact of life, right? No one talks about it, but just think about this, right? 
when you walk around to the shops and you go to the shops and someone's serving you or you go order your coffee or you go to the bank and a woman serves you, you know what? You didn't even know. That woman might actually be in excruciating pain, like fully like so much pain, but they just get on with their day. No one would know. But sometimes when I have got this kind of period pain, which it doesn't get spoken about because I had to tell one of the boys, they said, what do you need painkillers for? And I said, and they were like, oh, oh, like got all a bit weird. And I said, period, 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 period. It's just a fact of life. So like hats off to women that just walk around like everything's okay. Well said, Penny. So glad I got to say that because no one ever talks about it. Coming up. I need to get the, the new guys up there. The nomination showdown. If they're up there, there's going to be less chance of one of the originals going. Is it the old versus the new? He's creating a pack mentality. So like a milk, some this form of milk. This is right? Big Brother. Yeah. Housemates. It's time for the most important nominations of Big Brother 2014. Tonight, everyone is in play. Each one of you will nominate and can be nominated. Housemates, the countdown is on. Leo to the diary room. Oh, mercy. Leo. Big Brother. Red, the scary red. You have five points to nominate two housemates for eviction. Who do you nominate first? For how many points and why? Um, I'm going, my first nomination is going to be for Penny. Uh, I'm gonna give her Penny three points. I just find Penny way too over the top. She's too full on, um, she's erratic, I can't get a grip on her behavior. And Ryan had an off-the-cuff comment where he said, you look like someone from a TV show, and she just went crazy and went, ah! Do you know who I just realized you are? Nina cool. Proudman. Who's that? Oh! How funny! You want to know what's funny about that? Wow. Holy shit. You want to know what's funny? <laughs> you want to know what's funny? <laughs> 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 Because I... And I was just like, why are you freaking out? Like, it, this is just a conversation. You don't have to always be so full on. And there's no other housemate you're close to you find overwhelming or erratic at all, is there, Leo? <laughs> Not in the way that I find Penny overwhelming and erratic. She's just too weird. She's just weird. Accepted. You have two points remaining. The last two points I'm going to nominate um, are going to be for Ryan. That's a strategic vote. I think that Ryan has settled into this role as king of the house. You know, he's got Dave under his spell, he's taken Tom in under his wing, and I think he's just maneuvering people around himself in order to further himself in this game. In the first three weeks that I was here, he, him and Sam pretty much made fun of Dave every day, and now him and Dave are like best friends. It's the biggest bromance of all time. Decided to let him off the, uh, the leash, Dave. Hey. Hey. This is my favourite spot in the whole house. Yeah? Yeah. Calls it. I love the treehouse. Like, the treehouse as a whole is my favourite spot in the, in the house. Who's been a good boy? Who's been a good boy? Me. Oh. <laughs> You've been a good boy? I've been a good boy. Oh, in my <laughs> eye. So you think this bromance is just a showmance, Leo? I do. I think um, has an ulterior motive behind it. Accepted. Leo, your nominations are complete. Thanks, big brother. Lena. Big brother. You have five points to nominate two housemates for eviction. Who do you nominate first? For how many points and why? Um, for three points, I would like to nominate Ryan. He's creating a pack mentality and it's fine and all to, you know, make your friends laugh and whatnot, but the boys tend to talk about things that may not necessarily be too appropriate in front of girls, or they can be quite crass. There was nothing PG rated in there. <laughs> it was fine until you guys, like, the sexual innuendo was added into it. Lena. 
I do not find sex funny, <laughs> right? No. You've got a very different Sometimes. sense of humour. Yeah. To everyone. Yeah. Accepted. For two points, I would like to nominate Tom. Tom has focused a lot of his time since being in the house with getting in with the lad group and at contributing towards that crass culture, making jokes at the expense of um, p other people. You look like a drag queen. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? So are you saying that Tom is part of Ryan's herd? Yes, absolutely. Yep, and it needs to be broken up. Accepted. Thanks, big brother. Lena, your nominations are complete. Awesome. Thank you. So these are purely strategic. First one, I nominate Penny for three points just because I think she's really well liked. Um, I think she makes people laugh a lot. I haven't seen her annoy anyone yet. I think she's just really well liked and I don't think anyone's going to vote for her. Um, I guess I need to get the, the new guys up there because I think if they're up there, there's going to be less chance of one of the originals going. And then... For two points, I'm going to go Tom as well because I think exactly the same thing. Um, he's really well liked within the group. Ryan, do you think Tom could be more likeable than you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I reckon he's a, he's a cool dude. Um, I don't see why not. He's, he's funny, he's got some great knowledge and really good story. So, yeah, definitely he's a threat. No, my life saying is always be a legend. Yeah. Um, start off and let her start on a date, that chat. Like, she's like, what's your new resolution? Um, and I was like, oh, I don't know, like, always be a legend. So, like, what does it mean? I might like, be a legend always. <laughs> so, you have no problem nominating those you're spending the most time with in the house, Ryan? Nah, vote for the weak, vote for the strong. Do whatever it takes. I guess we're at this, this point in the game where the strategy starts kicking in. Penny. Hi, big brother. Who do you nominate first? For how many points and why? For three points, I'd like to nominate Leo because today, when I wanted to ask questions to the boys making cakes in the task, he said no, and I was trying to put my hand up, and he said no, no questions. You, might, you no don't questions. know whether it's going to be strawberry. And then um, I told him after that I wanted to ask questions and he said, no, but uh, I said, people ask me questions when I did the pottery wheel, but he said, that, I think that's, that's probably why you lost your task. Everyone was asking heaps of questions and that. I think that's why he failed. Uh, sometimes he's not super friendly. Your nomination is accepted. Thank you, Big Brother. And for two points, I'd like to nominate Tom, because I feel like he spent so much time getting to know the boys and constantly seeking validation from the cool kids in the house. I find it hard to have conversations with him, but he doesn't really want to have conversations with me anyway. He's become, like, very boys' group. Travis. Hello, big brother. For four points, I nominate Leo, purely strategy, in the hope that I don't get nominated and them four points will separate me from him. There's a good chance there might be all the new housemates up. Leaves obviously one housemate of the originals to be up as well. So this is more about keeping yourself out of the danger zone rather than putting Leo in. That is exactly it, big brother. For one point, I'm gonna nominate Lena. When I was in the sanctuary, she came over to, for coffee and cake and spoke for the house that I was isolating myself with H. I mean, you're just going to be mindful because the general consensus is you guys are a unit. Because Aisha tells me and she's like, no, we are separate and we don't really care, like no biggie. But there is, yeah, there is still you know an what, opinion we... that you guys are very, like... Yeah, it made me think about a lot of things that I didn't necessarily want to be thinking about while I was restricted in the sanctuary. Accepted. Thank you, big brother. Travis, your nominations are complete. Thank you. I'm one of those people that, like, I never know what I want to order at a restaurant. And then yeah. I can't decide, can't decide, can't decide. And the waiter comes over and I just panic and pick something. I feel like that's what it's going to be like. Yeah. Oh. Don't regret what you say, though. No, I won't. Life's too short for regrets. Next. I don't need another Dave. Priya's on the warpath. He's trying to act really sus and mysterious. Not working for me.
Who are you gonna nominate? Hey? Who? You can tell me. Tell me. Oh, really? I was thinking the exact same thing, Ned. Tom. Nice little effect. You have five points to nominate two housemates for eviction. Yes, big brother. Who do you nominate first? For how many points and why? So I'm going to give three points to Lena um, because as a fellow um, intruder, I believe she'll have the least fan base out there. So more of a chance for me to go through to the next round. And she Why loves... do you believe Lena will have the least fan base? Um, she loves SpongeBob and she's 25. SpongeBob. I was just expecting some French voice going deep down in the sea. What? You heard what? SpongeBob. It's the sounded like oh, the opening yeah, song yeah, to SpongeBob. Yeah. Different sense of we have different sense of humour, and I don't um, enjoy her jokes as much. Accepted. Yep. Cool. Um, next, I'll give two to Richard. Um, also, because as a fellow intruder late at this stage, we've got to earn our place in this game. Um, and so I think that um, he will also have, as a guy, as all the other guys probably have a very strong following. So I think he'll probably have the least out of all the other guys in the house. And I believe that I'm going to most probably be up. So I'm going to back myself to um, go through to the next week um, against him, big brother. I did obviously want to nominate, no, nominate Dave and Ryan initially, but then considering that Dave is in power, I think that will be a silly move at this point in the game, which is why I've decided to nominate Leo. Um, the reason I'm nominating Leo is more strategic than anything else at this moment in time. Um, he was not a part of top four, so I assume he was either number five or number six. The four most popular housemates from this week's voting. Priya, <laughs> David, yeah. Ryan, Sky. Yeah. Because I always do consider that I will be up for noms. I would like to give um, two points to Leo. Accepted. Thank you. For three points, I'm going to nominate Richard. I don't need another Dave. I'm sure the show doesn't need another Dave. One is enough for now. He thinks everything I say is a strategy. For instance, I was talking to him about Jason and I being friends today, and he was like, are you proposing that kind of partnership to me, Priya? You're proposing a similar partnership, Priya? No, I'm telling you about it. That's too rich. He's trying to act really sus and mysterious, not working for me, and I don't really like um, talking to him very much. Richard. Big brother. Nervous? Just a little. Who do you nominate first? For how many points and why? For one point, uh, I nominate Kelly. I feel like she's immature and at times her behaviour at best is childish or juvenile. Um, when I'm trying to have conversations with the other housemates, she often interrupts. And when I was trying to talk to Ned the other day, we were chatting about breakfast, she came and jumped on me. For four points, hurts me to do this, but I'm going to nominate Tomo. It's purely on strategy. I'm not strong enough to take down one of the existing players, so I need him to be up for nomination as well. So you see it as simply as him versus you. Essentially, uh, essentially, yes. If you look at the mathematics of it, you know, it's perhaps a flip of the coin. And I need to take that flip of a coin versus me potentially taking on existing housemates. I'm going to nominate David. Personality-wise, um, I find he's been a bit bossy. This, I'm not lying down, but oh, like... Oh, it is. Yeah, there's heaps of water in them, mate, because they go in the pool and they hold water, so I'd probably get it off there. Yeah. All together. Very petty, but it was bossy. No one else has been bossy. That's my that's my point. I nominate David because I want him gone. I want to break David and Ryan up because they are strong together and individually. But I also think that I could beat David in the public eye. But in the house, I can't beat him. What a shame you can't award David all five of your points, Sky. Yes. What Accepted. Cool. And then for two points, I'll nominate Ryan because he's just simply a threat to me. Inside the house and outside the house, he could potentially be the winner. And yes, that gets in the way of 
me winning the game. Your nomination is accepted, Sky. Cool. Thank you. As head of house, David has the nomination superpower, a power he's never used before. Starting with 12 points, he can reveal where housemates stand at the cost of one point each and cast remaining points as he chooses. If you're strategic, and we know you are, <laughs> you could change which housemates are in the red zone for nomination yeah. and which are safe for another week. Okay. David, you have 12 points. What would you like to do first? Well, I think it would be wise of me to see where I am sitting, so if you wouldn't mind revealing my name, please. All right. Good news, David. So far, yeah. I want to stay out of nominations, but I would also like to get some big names into the red, Priya and Sky. I would also like to reveal Ryan's name, please. Can you just make sure he's safe? Riser, he is genuinely my, at this time, best friend in the house. If I was sitting at the end and it was him and I, I would not begrudge him walking away with uh, $200,000. I, I just see it as a nice little deed that I could do for a mate. A nice little 200 k deed. Yeah, well, I'm not saying he's going to win it. I'm saying that I'd like to save him from evictions. So how are you going to do that? I don't know yet. I'm going to try to work this out. Strategy takes time, big brother. Let's go with two points first. I'm going to give two points to Sky. David, your points have been added. Yeah, but I thought I was going to see the bars move, even though they, uh, even though they didn't have pictures on them. All well, right. that would be getting something for nothing now, wouldn't it, David? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with something for nothing. All right, one point. Reveal Sky for me, please. Oh, for God's sakes. Why is everyone in this house afraid of voting for Sky? If you could evict any housemate, who would it be? Sky. Because one, she's powerful, and two, she annoys me. And who would your next choice be? Uh, Priya. I don't care who's in the red zone, apart from Ryan, and I care that I'm out of the red zone. So I'm trying to work out some way to put people in there. Yeah, OK. Actually, one point for Priya, please. Show me where she is. Oh, for God's sakes. What are we all doing? We're voting for the newbies. Righto. Can I have three points for Sky again, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, so there's nothing to say that Priya and Sky weren't on the same amount of points. So therefore, if I give her the points, the three, she goes up as well with Sky and Ryan and four and no one's. That makes Ryan's chances better, but also puts two of my biggest players in there. Wow. Told myself before I came in here to stop putting my arms up, and every time I put them up, I just see me sweat points. Nerve wracking times, big brother. I've really only got one option. I can't save Ryan. So this one is entirely strategy. I'm sorry, Priya. Three points for you. Wow, she's sitting there on zero. A lot harder than it looked. So, David, what's the take-home message? Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to save Riser, who's obviously seen as a massive threat in this house, but... But I guess the take-home message with this is... There's a lot of responsibility with power. David, surely the real take-home message is don't wear grey when executing a power play. <laughs> you don't mind seeing a sweat, do you, big brother? Yeah, here you go. Have a taste of that. David, your power play is complete. Thank you, big brother. Thank you. Coming up... I can't really specifically tell you who I think that person is. Leo wants to know who's out to get him. It could be anyone. It could be Sky. This is Big Brother. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Housemates, your nominations are complete. The housemates facing eviction this week are... with 10 points, Tom. 
Hoj. With nine points. Leo. Wow. With seven points. Ryan. Yeah, boys. The boys. With six points. Penny. <laughs> and with five points, Richard. Nice work, Travi. Dave, are you sure you had a nomination spell? And also with five points, Sky. Damn it! I knew it! I knew it! Nine. Tom. Oh. Leo. Oh. Ryan. Travi. Travi. Penny. Oh. Sorry, guys. Richard. And Sky. Your fellow housemates have nominated you for eviction. <laughs> <laughs> the countdown has started. Your time in the Big Brother house is running out fast. What day is it today? Wow. That is all. Wow. wow. Oh, nice. Hey, guys. Oh, yes. What are you doing, buddy? Awesome. What are you doing? Are you doing? Are you annoying everyone. Richard. Got a week off. Cheers. Yeah, and a trav dog. I can't believe that's the first time. Like, sorry to be like be no, actually. Mate, no, no, you should be bloody stoked. Yeah, I, I can't the first, believe first it. First time. Yeah. Three out of the four housemates who arrived as neighbours two weeks ago are up for eviction. Tom, Richard, and Penny. We, this oh, is, really? we knew we'd What's be that? here. We knew we'd be here. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was surprised. I was surprised. Um, Lena wasn't as well. Yeah, I thought it'd be all for us. Sure, she's yeah. done real well. Lena managed to escape being nominated. Dodged a bullet. Oh, massive bullet. That's, it's insane. Can't, yeah, I can't get my head around it. It's very crazy. Alina, oh, for sure, what the hell? You're surprised she's not nominated? Oh, it's just like, I feel a little bit ripped off. She's only been here for like 10 days. I feel like I've been in here for 60 days. I'm just a bit annoyed that I gave Tom those points because he's, he's such a good dude but I thought everyone else would have been maybe voting for Lena and Richard, because I think she probably gives the least out of the group. Ryan looks so shocked. He looked very shocked. Really? Yeah. We saw it. Both of us saw it. Um, do you know why? I'll tell you why. He was, he was shocked because Dave had a power play, and he must have thought if Dave is going to save anyone, it's either going to be me, himself and me. So it seems like David only saved himself and not one. How did I get seven? And Sky got five, but I don't know if people are if people are voting strategy or people think I'm doing something wrong. Who knows? Seven points. Tom. Yes, big brother. You've come out on top. I know I've won something. Stoked. The most nomination points. How do you feel about that? Um, you go through obviously mixed. Motions, but yeah, I'm obviously pretty stoked. Uh, I knew I was going to be up, so if you're going to go up, you may as well go out on top. So um, that's the way I look at it. Of course, one of you did dodge that bullet, Lena. She did, yeah. Um, so she's managed to fly under the radar there. She's done very well. She buys her another week. I guess now I get to look forward to the full experience of an eviction night and uh, how that feels. I think that I'm getting some points thrown at me from some people who I don't think would throw points at me. Um, and in that sense, I'm being a little bit fool fooled and had the wool put over my eyes. I can't really specifically tell you who I think that person is. Um, it could be anyone. It could be Sky. Are you excited? I am. I'm ecstatic. I'm surprised. I'm super surprised. You are? Yeah. That you're up? That I'm, at, that I'm up for nine. It's a big number. I don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, me neither. Couldn't even think. I think someone's really pulling the wool. My eyes are hard. 
I don't know who you're referring to. Come. Who is pulling the wool over your eyes? I don't know. It's just someone that I think wouldn't be doing that to me. And who is? Not you, but someone. Don't even say me. Don't even say what? Don't say me. I'm still wondering when you guys are going to respect my strategy, you know, up every single <laughs> week. Most important week comes off. What do you know? Trevi, trust me. I know your strategy better than you know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Trevi's game is? Close his eyes, cross his fingers and wish. <laughs> but you don't have a game. Man, I'm a headless tool. To save Leo, call 1902 or SMS Leo to 199 To save Penny, call 1902 or SMS Penny to 199 To save Richard, call 1902 or SMS Richard to 199 Or vote on Facebook. To save Ryan, call 1902 or SMS Ryan to 199 To save Sky, call 1902 or SMS Sky to 199 To save Tom, call 1902 or SMS Tom to 199 Or vote on Facebook. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.